Good afternoon, West Street School. I'm going to read you one of my favorite stories today. I'm going to read you The Great Buzz Frenzy. Let's get started. I want you to pay careful attention to the pictures in this book. They're pretty outstanding. Violet, where's the ball? Down it went. Boink. Boink. Watch out below. Rumble. Help, help, help. Run for your life. Thump, thump. Plunk, and there it sat, perfectly still. The prairie dogs waited, perfectly still. Slowly, they crept out, inch by inch, dog by dog. What is it? A thing. A good thing or a bad thing? It's a round thing. A scary thing. A strange thing. Don't touch it. Is it alive? Stand back, boomed a voice. You act like gutless groundhogs afraid of your own shadow. Oh no, the big bark. Big mouth is more like it. He's the meanest dog around. I thought he left town. Well, I'm back, growled big bark. So out of my way and let me have a look. But before anyone could move, little Pipsqueak raced past Big Bark, reached out and poked the big thing. No, the crowd yelled. It's fuzzy, said Pip. Oh, the crowd gasped. A tiny piece of fuzz was caught in Pip's claw. She looked at it, turned it, sniffed it, and she put it on her head. Look at me, she said. <gasps> the crowd sighed. Quit hamming it up, you half pipe hamster, snarled Big Bark. I'm in charge. But those prairie dogs didn't listen. They had to have the fuzz. I like it. Me too. I want some. Do you? Oh, yes. So do I. So they did. Prairie dogs pulled it, puffed it, stretched it, fluffed it, tugged it, twirled it, spiked it, swirled it. They fuzzed their ears, their heads, their noses, their feet, their tails, their toeses. Big Bark was beside himself. Listen to me, you ridiculous rodents. Stop this fuzz foolishness. But those prairie dogs didn't listen. They were too busy being hot dogs and silly dogs, corny dogs and frilly dogs, top dogs, funny dogs, super dogs, bunny dogs. Well, you're all nuts, you squirrely fuzz freaks. Big Bark stormed out. News of the fuzz spread from hole to hole, burrow to burrow, town to town. Soon prairie dogs from everywhere were coming to see the fuzz. They came, they saw, they picked. They twisted it, braided it, danced and paraded it. It was a fuzz frenzy, a fuzz fiesta, a fuzz fandangle. And those prairie dogs were a fuzz about fuzz. They picked it, pruned it, pulled it, pinched it. They pinched it, pulled it, pruned it, picked it. Until the fuzz ran out. That big round thing was fuzzless. Naked as a plucked chicken. Some prairie dogs got a lot of fuzz. 
Some got a little and some got no fuzz at all. And they were mad. Give me that fuzz. Why? Because it's my fuzz. Well, it was. Get that fuzz. Get the fuzz. <clears throat> Pulling, grabbing, swiping, nabbing, poking, jabbing. It was a war. War between the fuzzes and the fuzz knots. Their peaceful town was now a battleground. It was a fuzz fight, a fuzz feud, a fuzz fiasco. I started this, moaned Pipsqueak. I have to do something. Everyone, stop. But those prairie dogs didn't listen. The battle raged on, friend against friend, cousin against cousin, dog against dog. No one was left standing. They were all pooped, fuzzed out, fast asleep. Hours later, the prairie dogs began to stir. Uh-oh, where's the fuzz? I, I don't know. Where did it go? Someone has stolen our fuzz. I did it, barked a voice from above. I stole the fuzz. The prairie dogs froze and they raced up, up, up the long tunnel and they stood there staring at Big Bark, covered in fuzz from head to toe. I'm the king of the fuzz, he snarled. Do you hear me? King of the Buds. Swoop. The sky went black. What happened? Where's Big Bark? Look, there he was, high above their heads, dangling from the talons of an eagle. No more Big Bark, the crowd cheered. Yay! Don't yay. He's one of us, said Pip. We have to save him. How would you like to be an eagle's lunch? No, yelled the crowd. Big Bark, wiggle free, shouted the prairie dog. Shake loose, hurry, we'll catch you. Big Bark twisted and turned and wormed and squirmed. At last he was free of the fuzz. Yay, the crowd cheered. Big Bark fell faster and faster. <gasps> no, the prairie dogs scattered. Get back here, yelled Pip. Quick, make a circle. Hug out your paws. They ran left. They ran right. They ran left. Plop. You saved me, cried Big Bark. Now, the fuzz is gone forever. Good, said Pip Squeak. Fuzz is trouble, right? Yeah, the crowd said. Friend hugging friend, cousin hugging cousin, dog hugging dog. We don't need fuzz, said Pip. But with Eagle around, we do need a watchdog with a big bark. Big Bark rose up on his hind legs. The Eagle's back, bark, bark. This is not a test, bark. All dogs below, bark. The prairie dogs scurried down the tunnel. Down, down, down. Whew, we made it, that was close. Three cheers for Big Bark, the best watch dog ever. Yip, yip, yooray! Just doing my job, Big Bark smiled. Are we ever getting tangled up with that fuzz again? Cried Pipsqueak, no! yelled the crowd. No more fuzz. And from that day forward, the prairie dogs live happiless, happily and fuzzlessly ever after. Hmm. Look who's back. And that, my friends, is the great fuzz frenzy. I hope you enjoyed.